Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. So, I wasn't sure if I wanted to record this, but there's enough lore in it, I think, that it might be related to stuff down the road, or the implications. I'm gonna do the Infinite Archive. Unfortunately, I've done it so much with my main character, and my secondary character, actually, that I have to use my third character, who is... A decent build, but I don't know if as oh, good. Here's one. Mortal, uh, do you have a moment? My main. But yeah, I have been playing a lot of the Endless Archive. I have every achievement except for this one, which I'm close to at this point. And I have all the collectibles from it. I have everything. Well, again, besides the horse. But I like it. I I it always happens, a game adds a roguelike mode, and I say at first, oh, well, I'm probably not going to like it, because it's a weird addition to that game. And then I really like it. It happened with Assassin's Creed, it happened with this game, it happened with God of War. But, I mean, hey, they're fun. To a degree, there are definitely... I would say of those three I just listed, this one's the weakest of them. There's still a lot of stuff they have to kind of work out, but it's not bad. Let's see, limbs, mouth, clothes... Yes, you're immortal. Uh, one moment. He had me remember something. <clears throat> Brave adventurer, the endless archive requires your aid. Reality warps in its halls, and I, Master Malkast, cannot defend them alone. Oh yeah, as of this recording, this is still known as the Endless Archive. Apparently, actually it might be the day after this recording, but apparently it's um going to be changed to the Infinite Archive for people assume was some kind of copyright issue and they're redoing all the voice lines which is kind of crazy what's the endless Master archive Malchus <clears throat> thought you'd ask that he said it is a near infinite vault of books letters and records it holds accounts of what has passed and what may never come to be currently it is besieged by an enemy with unknown motives you don't know what your enemies want uh Master Malkas didn't anticipate that question. Uh, look, monsters of ink are jumping out of books and attacking us. Filer Mix is waiting in the Endless Archive. Master Malkas gave him something for the mortal. A uh, reward of some sort? All right, I'll go find Filer Mix in the Endless Archive. I don't know what your plan is, but you may not want to be alone when you go in there. The Archive isn't as friendly as it used to be. Oh, you'll have to take a portal to reach the Archive. This space right here isn't big enough to hold the Endless. What more can you tell me about the Endless Archive? Mortals have libraries, right? Master Malkesk mentioned that yours pale in comparison, which isn't surprising since ours are quite dark. The Endless Archive is large, though. There's a lot for us filers to do. What does a filer, like yourself, do? We file. Maybe you don't know what filing is. That's when we find an object and put it in a place where it stays. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I get to decide where things get filed instead of following a system. I never actually did this little intro quest. I just did the one you accept from the crown store, and that leads you directly to it. Uh, who is this Master Malkast that wants my help? A mortal, uh, like you. He doesn't file, which made having him around difficult at first, but we came to an understanding. I'll warn you, he's a bit intense, especially since our enemies started attacking us. He even yelled at me. For what? I don't really remember, but it was rude of him. Oh well, I did what he asked. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore, and I can wait out here until the violence settles down. Okay. To the Endless Archive, soon to be the Infinite Archive. What is life but a constant fight against unending enemies and unseen puppet masters across an ever-changing landscape? The Endless Archive is not the exception to the struggles of existence. It is the... Oh, all right. I have no idea how this build is going to perform. Oh, wait. I have some food on me, I think. I should probably... Uh, that. Probably not the best. Actually, I use it on my... I use it on my... Main character using Ice Magicka. Woo! Wait, you're not made of ink. Hmm, you're a mortal. Master Malkas sent Filer Picks to find one. Is that you? Did I get it right? Are you a mortal who's here to help? Yeah. 
The Archive's in some danger right now, but you don't seem like a weakling. I mean, uh, mortals are strong. You're capable and bright. Can I give you a reward for coming all this way and we forget about my calling you a weakling? Yeah. Right? Good? Good. Then maybe you'll still help, and I won't have insulted our last hope. It's fine. Here, I'm told you mortals find this valuable. If you still need help finding Master Malkas, I can give you a fun hint. He's right behind me up those stairs. Well, I suppose that's not a hint. Can't take it back now. How dangerous is the Endless Archive? Dangerous. Oh, you mean deadly. Right. You mortals have to worry about dying. Uh, usually it's not dangerous at all if you can fly. But these aren't usual times. If you have an ally, a sword, or even a good stick, I'd recommend bringing it. You're a filer. What do you file? Me specifically? Books? Uh, collections of pages, little... I'm just describing books. I, I, I file books. Basically everything in the archive needs to be stored in a place that makes sense. I help keep it organized. I do love the dialogue the filers have. They're some of the most fun characters. How many other filers are there? Here or in Apocrypha? How many mortal adventures are there where you're from? Uh, I know of eight other filers, as well as one pesky mortal who has her own arrangement systems and can't help but destroy our order, but there are others. And they all file books? Mostly, though Filer Tejers over there claims that she files valuables. She wants to be like your mortal merchants. It's useful, I suppose, but she refuses to let the rest of us organize any of the objects she claims. Okay. Actually, what other filers are around? There's usually like four or five flying around here. been a while since I've chatted with them. There's one. And they're like all the different types. This isn't the this Deadlands. This is my favorite room in the entire archive. <laughs> the index is useful and there's limited books to file. I can relax here. <gasps> I'm surprised they haven't released that one or the Cold Harbor Watchling as, as pets because they've done a regular Watchling, a... Madness, I guess, whatever. Amaranth, is that what they're called? Watching the pink ones. And... I find ordering and cataloging the volumes favorable to being assailed by them. And a... Uh, and a... What's it called? Apocrypha. The one with the milky eyes. File a mix won't let me file my sections into barricades. This is combat! Battlements and defenses are a requirement! Uh, I think that's all the ones flying around, because there's eight. There's those two, the three I just spoke, there's two merchants, the three I just spoke to, the fourth one there, so that's six. There might be a seventh one somewhere. And one of them is a big watch, or not a watchling, but a watcher that's in one of the, like, minigame side rooms. Which are random. I might not even see him on this run. Uh... I don't know. If, I don't know who the last one is. I can't believe I'm dealing with this problem. You, your fate walks these halls. Come here. There's no time for pleasantries or interrogations. Thoat Replicanum is summoning malligraphies, creatures of ink. The endless archive is filled with books and therefore ink. You can see how this is suboptimal, right? Who's Thoat Replicanum? A Daedra. I saw her name scrawled in many margins, but it took the ink attacking for me to put the pieces together. Research can be uncomfortable, even painful. This is unprecedented. I have a plan to combat her, though I lack the skills to enact it. What's your plan? Nimix are the true names of Daedra. If we collect the pieces of Thoat Replicanum's Nimic, we can use it to summon her and rid the endless archive of her malaise. At least that's what I hope happens. I'm not destitute, if that sways you. I'll help you get rid of Thoat Replicanum. That door Replicanum. will take you into the archive. The malligraphies are the best lead we have, so head toward orbs of unstable ink, and you will find them. I'll watch and offer advice when I can. But I'll leave the fighting to you. It's not my forte. What else can you tell me about the malligraphies? They resemble the contents of the text itself. Most of the books here in the archive are historical accounts. They seem differently tempered as well. Some are peaceful, 
many hostile, and almost all have different skills and strengths. Why do you think the malligraphies are? So, why do you think the malligraphies are so different? Think about it this way: a book can discuss a king as a vicious conqueror or a benevolent philanthropist. Both of these descriptions could be true, but a text must choose one. As for the differences in strengths, not all authors are equally skilled. How do you know which ones are hostile? I can usually tell after they attack. Most of the malligraphies will fight you, but that doesn't mean that all of them will. Just keep an eye out for any that behave violently. Fighting book characters doesn't seem that hard. Then you underestimate the power of the written word. Remember that these characters, as you called them, aren't in their books anymore. A sword made out of ink is still a sword. I have the scars to prove it. How will following the malligraphies reveal Thor Replicanum's Nimic? It all comes back to ink. The malligraphies are made out of the book. And I've seen Thoat Replicanum scribbled across the margins of many pages here. I'm practiced enough at research to know when I'm on the cusp of discovery. How will finding the Nimic help you summon Thoat Replicanum? The Nimic is a Daedra's true name. If we hold the Nimic, we'll be able to control her to some capacity. I'm not powerful enough to banish her from the Archive outright. But I think I have enough magic to summon her. What is this place? The Endless Archive holds written records of events that were, or that could be. There were others who called this place home, but they're dead to the Archive. I didn't think that was possible. The Endless challenges many of my assumptions. What do you mean, dead to the Archive? Threads of fate bind everything in the Archive to the Index. If the threads break, the item is returned to safety. This protects the tomes, but it is helpful should an accident-prone researcher bury his nose in a book and walk off a cliff. And? And now it appears some of the inhabitants of the Archive no longer have the protection of the threads. I have no idea why that is so, and it disconcerts me. I would be lost if I was no longer bound to the Index. What's the Index? That giant orb. Since it's tied to everything in the Archive, we use it to locate books throughout the endless expanses. This place would be a headache to navigate without it. There were others here? You'll see evidence of them as you travel. I know of a few who aren't dead to the Archive, but I'm not sure if they encountered the malligraphies yet. I'll do my best to steer you toward them when I can. They could help you. Okay. Let's get to it. I mean, I'm only going to do the first arc. So it shouldn't be that hard. I have to remember how I play this character. So I gotta stop it. Okay, that should be good. So I just gotta basically battle my way through. And not die. Like I said, the first arc is not that hard because there's not even marauders or anything especially dangerous. But I'm also not very strong with this character. You're interrupting scholarship. This character should do well, because basically the best build for Endless Archive are big tanky builds that... It's basically it's more about survival than it is about dishing damage. Although you do want to do some damage. Alright. Oh! The Great Eye offers you verses. There are advantages that will last as long as your next fight. Verses will make a huge difference as you fight waves of malligraphies. Select a verse while I create a portal. Okay. Ooh, magical... Ooh, actually, these are both pretty good. This one's not that great. Uh, oh, actually, that one's not bad, but it's not... I can get more ultimate, or I can do... Uh, multitude's probably easier. Better. 
And then every round Some is a... verses allow you to transform your mortal visage into terrifying creatures. I always hope those are offered to you. They look like a smashing good time. They are fun. It is fun to turn into a fire avatar. No. Flame Atronach is the one, and then Ice Avatar, and then Werewolf Behemoth. The the first two are completely broken. The uh, Werewolf Behemoth has some issues. I'm a dollar, damn it! Come on, multitude. It's it's random if it'll kick in, but. This character does not do a lot of damage. Come on, magical. There they are. That's a magical multitude. Yeah, so like I said, I'm only planning to go as far as the end of arc one with this character, because it'll just take too long. And who knows if I'm even geared up for that. But I've gone as far as... We have an accord. What? Mm, like, round, or... What are they? It's... Oh. Me, sir. I forget the terminology. It's arc... Oh, there's a good multitude. Stage, arc... I forget what the other thing, but I got this to the stage... This doesn't look too out of sorts, but I'll have to do a full inventory to be sure. Uh, whatever this is, I got about halfway through uh, arc six solo. I don't do this one multiplayer. I didn't file this wing. I mean, look at it. Uh, pick a verse and take the portal out of here if you want to see something organized to perfection. And um, there's also a couple rare lo lore books that, that you can find furnishings for. Ooh, a game of bountiful research. Mm, those are that one's good. Yeah, give me the AOE boost. boost. Ooh, side activity. There's more to the archive than the malignities. You can explore if you want. It won't be fruitless. Thank you. Oh, and these are. Oh, oh well. I'm not gonna get much out of this one. Shelved by the author's last name, or was it by Era? Are you real? With those clothes, you must be. Next question. Can you find things? Have you lost things before? A sock, your memory, the love of the gods? Doesn't matter. I have, and I will, and I need to not lose that last one. What have you lost? What haven't I lost? I need you to find Finbor the Resurrected. A book. It's about a reach folk who became the servant of Hermaeus Mora in exchange for a book of necromancy. A horrid practice. All those organs. Very unclean. I found the furnishing version of that book. It's in my house. Not the book. The pages. I lost the pages. The sheaves of paper are scattered throughout the archive. I have some tricks I picked up from living here. Versus. Things to make you stronger, quicker, sturdier. Bring me the pages, and I'll give you one. I'll keep an eye out. I don't know exactly where the pages ended up. This place is a maze. So much to organize. So many books. Without the pages, I'll never complete my translation, and the account of Finbor the Resurrected will be lost forever. Find them. Please. How will I know which pages are the ones you want? This is an archive for books, not unbound sheaves. If you have doubts or are fluent in the ancient languages of the Reach folk, perhaps you could read the pages as they are. If not, you'll have to wait for the translation. Why are you translating Finbor the Resurrected? It's an important tome of ancient Reach folk lore. Besides, translation's an aspect of my duties here. My work preserves knowledge contained within the books. How many languages can you speak? Almost none. I can read infinitely more than I speak. Understanding the meaning of written gel is so vastly different than hearing the sounds and making sense of them. Written translation is as far as my skills go, I'm afraid. You seem a little on edge. Are the missing pages the only thing that's wrong? This room, this archive, it's so... scattered. Are we following authors? Eras, geographical locations, subject matter, binding materials, ink types. This room is making you uncomfortable? The only time it's bearable is when I'm reading or working. Otherwise, I just want to tear all the books from their shelves and restock them correctly. So why don't you organize the shelves to your liking? What if I organize them by the wrong category? Have you seen an archive organized by spine color? Or by date written? No. Besides, this is Hermaeus Mora's archive. 
I don't want to inadvertently upset the Prince of Knowledge. Goodbye. Yeah, so her is... The first one... Shh, okay. She gives you a quest, which she just gave me. Ooh, Captain Blackheart. And that will involve finding five sheets of sheaves of books. I recognize paper. it. In this case, that may not be a good thing. Be careful. Then you turn that in, and then she gives you another quest later to find ten pages. And then you turn that in eventually, and then she gives you a repeating quest to find... Was it? Oh wait, no, it's not ten pages, ten lock boxes. Right, and they're very rare. And then from that point on, she gives you repeatable daily. Alright, Captain Blackheart, what's up? Nope. I do like how they kind of revamped a lot of the main game bosses for this. Some of them are not balanced well. Like, mostly the dragons and that one boss from Mob or Kaj. But, they're pretty good, most of them. The real bread and butter of this are the visions. Okay, some money. Hermaeus Mora must be impressed. He's offering you visions. Those last longer than verses. Hang on, what's this? A fragment of a mimic. It couldn't drop the whole thing? Well, if this malligraphy had a piece, the others might too. Keep going. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what? That may the, be the first time I ever wanted to get that one. Because this is useless. This is especially useless because I'm on stamp magic build. Yeah, sure. We'll go with pets. Because they did... I think they patched it so pets are a little bit better in endless infinite archive. Excuse me. They were originally very not good. Same with companions. But they seem to have made them a little tankier. Oh. Prepare your mind for our crusade. I'm still waiting for the Cold Harbor watchling. Yeah, I probably would have liked a different uh, vision, but this one is probably fine. Where'd that you last guy go? So also, there's one. One of the watchlings has, or filers, has a like Midwestern accent, and it's very amusing to me. I wonder if they'll pop up. To the fray. Oh, the red horns. Yeah, so at the end of every. Almost everywhere. Well, sometimes this happens. But at the end of every stage like this, there's a tough enemy. The worst ones are the two Dreadhorn variants, the the mage one and the physical attacking one. Ah, you protected eons you, of knowledge from They do so much more damage than the other t like heavy enemies for some reason. Class skills. Uh well, I guess my pets are considered class skills. But Gilded Sight is a very fun one. We'll do Gilded Sight. Yeah, because my direct damage are not class skills, but rather weapon skills. There's also a few common enemies that you want to deal with, or prioritize at least. Oop, a Gilded Sight. Bonk. Going to need a moment. A young man. What? Did he get hurt? Oh, is he doing that cool glitch where? Oh, sometimes he his ultimate glitches out. Oh. His ultimate glitches out, and he can keep doing it like almost infinitely. Oh, so see the heavy in this one is a Dramor Ironclad. It still happened. It used to it happened when I first got him, and it's been happening since. But sometimes he'll do like three or four of his ultimates in a row. Oh. Pardon me.
Oop, there was one last guild that uh, helped myself to the gold. Thank you. Are you done in here? Oh, nearly. That's good then. Uh, oops, I didn't. That didn't register. Uh, get a shield. That's. That must be one of the most useless verses in this whole thing. Guild skills. It's like. I guess if you use Meteor as your ultimate, that could be good. Or like. Silver. What's that? Silver barbs? Uh, well, slain enemies isn't very helpful for boss fights. I'll just take the shield. Ooh, Sable Knight. Okay. Anyone gonna pop in to say anything? No? Okay. Wonder if I'll get lucky and Wood the you Pilfer will show up anywhere. Ally. Yeah, so every once in a while, oops, every once in a while in these boss fights, a little scamp will appear and start running around called Gwyd the Pilferer. And they give bonus loot. I don't even need to look out for antiquities anymore because I've gotten them all three times at this point. see his attack over under my protection. This takes so long. This character is not built for damage, but he isn't in risk at risk of dying, I guess. Goodbye. Boss from High Isle. High Isle. Another Nimic fragment. This two pronged approach is working. You're collecting the fragments, and I'm learning more about Thoat. One of the books called Thoat, she who became Vivified Ink. As you continue to fight, I'll try to figure out what that means. Yeah, they don't actually explain much about Thoat in this, so I'm hoping that she's related to next year's content. Uh, damage taken over time. Major and minor effects. That could be good. And direct damage. Uh, give me direct damage. Oh, I don't really have much of that either. No, I'm channeling. I think that's assumed. Or. Heavy attacking, I assume, is direct damage. It's going to take me literally forever oh, there she is! This wing. Oh, she's the Cold Harbor Watchling. The one with the Minnesotan accent. It'll last too long. Just gonna just take my time. Or do I have? Oh, I should probably have that equipped. Actually, screw it. I'll use it. Give myself a little boost of juice. Do these malagrafies know who you are? Do you? I was going to say, no heavy this round. Bone Colossus is, might be the easiest one. I like a Xander for this because he, I built him out to be a healing class and he At seems to have the best survivability the and, are gone and I can resume my work. damage boosting. When you choose the verse, do you think the tentacle will disappear? I don't mean to offend Hermaeus Mora, but it is throwing off the balance of this wing. <laughs> Ooh, that might be the best verse. You know, this will... Let's see, direct damage abilities. I might not actually have direct damage abilities with this character. Let's find out. 
Because maybe that doesn't qualify as your heavy attacks. Ooh, dr Dromathros. Is there a conduit here? Okay, that's... Remember when I mentioned there's some enemies you definitely want to keep an eye out for? Well, it seems like... Hold on. Are you getting... No, I don't have my things turned on. They seem like they're taking bleed damage. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, heavy attacks definitely doing bleed damage. Good. There's another good... There's a vision that's kind of very similar to Exsanguinate, which is... Uh, actually, what is it called? Some It's one of the support ones. It's the one that you use for the werewolf. Uh, what are they? What is it called? Oh, there's a conduit. Don't do it. I know you want to. Don't do it. Oh, there's another one. Hey, you stop that. Stop that. It kind of looks will cast the the like sphere of silence on you. Where is it? Never fear! The Calvary has arrived! Uh um, oh, they're all gone. Ferocious. Yeah, ferocious support does a ton of bleed damage on heavy attacks. Ooh, that's another good one. Guardian of Pestilence. Uh that's not bad, but I don't need it for early arcs. And that one's not good for bosses. Give me Guardian of Pestilence. Who are we fighting now? Oh, Kalurian. Okay, DLC dungeon boss. And oh, now, we, hmm, dare I risk ignoring his totems well. and just fighting him? So you want the Guardian Professionals to get killed. Come on, Guardian, I need you to go. There we go. The this. Death every fall and rises it does a ton of damage and then it leaves a nice AoE. I didn't even see which totem he activated. Oh, the Lurcher. Oh, well, yeah, that's the... That makes sense considering the vines. A moment's peace. Okay, I still need a, I need a solid... A solid vision out of this. So stage cycle. Thor's right. written her name in multiple books. I think it's so she can create malligraphies of herself. How delightful. Uncomfortable revelations Ooh, aside, I won't complain I about any... another Nimic fragment. Oh. We're getting closer to our goal. See, this is good. Keep going. This would be great on my main because he uses ice furnace, which and he's a warden, so he does a lot of ice damage and then fire damage too. I guess we'll do Scorching Fortification. No good visions for this character. This is rough. But this happens sometimes. You just get bad rolls. There's a book in this area I remember finding. Oh, Fabled. Okay, so once you get to Cycle 4, Fabled start spawning, which are big, beefy enemies that can be very annoying. The worst one, in my opinion, are the Spell Thieves, but the Flame Shapers are not great either. Oh, we got Goblins and Dwarven Automata in this group. Oh yeah, every every stage has a mixture of two different groups of enemies and it's random and often very strange. And their big boy to Dwarven Centurion. Perhaps a tactical approach. Bye. I haven't actually looked. Are these cold snap goblins? Or are they regular? No, they're regular goblins. Ooh. Ooh. Okay.
okay. No one in the archive has martial skills. Hey, multitudes. It's a good thing you came along. There's the book. Come on, one of the fun ones, please. Oh, this one's fun. Okay. It's rude to sneak up on us when we're playing. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on. This is like this is one of my favorites because it's very easy. Actually, is this the fifth rank or the first? Because this character is doing it. I hadn't considered that. Maybe I can snag that one. Yeah, come on, all three of you don't. Randomly, sometimes they'll just like lose interest, which can be annoying for this, but it's pretty easy. The, I'd say either this one or the one. We have to clear a path are my favorites. My least favorite are the I hope that never happens again. The arena of the combat or the filer wing, because that one can be glitchy. Alright, nothing special, but Ooh, Tome Foolery. Fast ultimate? Uh Ooh, actually siphoning vigor could be very fun. Let's do that. Every time you kill an enemy you get a major buff. That can compound very nicely. Where's our fable? There you are. Your fate is sealed. You should have seen the state of oh, this wow. wing before we filed it. Right off the bat with a uh, magical multitude. I like it. Come on, give me more. Give me more boosts. This wing is particularly flammable. Try not to set anything alight. Why were those Jerzog not moving? Why are you spawning down there? That doesn't help me. Be careful of that book. It looks suspicious. It, oh, it's a wave. Oh no, there's the big boy. Oh, that's a good multitude. Excellent. Yeah, it's a little random. So having to rely on it can be a problem, but. It's usually, it usually procs enough to be helpful. Well, give me one more on this guy. Oh, over there too. Oh, so it procs at the end of the. Is it over? Good. Oh. Good. <sighs> oh, Minnesota. I can get that book Malchus needed. Have you noticed that some wings of the archive look similar? The endless archive used to be one continuous landmass, but that's obviously not the case anymore. This doesn't matter to me, as I can fly. You, on the other hand, must rely on portals. I just noticed they have different tentacle shapes depending on the type of watchling. Uh, no, useless. That could be good. You know what? Give me sequential shield. This is going to be a raid level boss. Oh, Zibaza. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. She's one of the easier of the. I taste your power. Yeah, I know. I know. It fellows loudly as the snake is hunger. But mine is insatiable. Where'd you go? You're over there. Alright, what tentacle are you summoning? Come on. It is. an alchemical. That's gotta go. Win that. Ah, Xander is down. Please get rid of this tentacle. Please get rid of this tentacle. Uh oh. I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay, it's down. Do a different tentacle, please. Oh, what? Okay, I'm just going to have to ignore it and go after her. As bad of an idea as that is. Well, I've got the sequential shield. Whoa! 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 I don't know what was hitting me so hard there. Probably the alchemical stuff. Yeah, if, she, if only she did radiant, the radiant tentacle, that would be better. Ah, 
this is this is rough because I didn't get any good visions. Can we? Come on, where's my bat? Where's my sequential shield? Oh, I'm dead. Oh. What the hell? There are so many Yagras. Why are there so many Yagras? That's not supposed to happen. Uh-oh. 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 Why is my shield not appearing? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Not gonna happen. I might not be able to clear this because I just didn't get any good rolls with this character. That would suck. Plus, she was only doing... Inexcusable. You're needed here. She kept only doing the alchemical. If she did the radiant tentacle, that's so much easier to deal with. No damage to her. It's rough. Yeah, why wasn't my shield activating as much? What is it? Ah, oh, it's another alchemical one! Maybe I can catch him, Yagran. He says as he dies. Oh my god! down. It's these these Yagra are a real problem. Is it really another alchemical one? Why? Do a radiant tentacle. Xander's still up. Oh my god. Yeah, these Jagra are also a problem, I'm realizing. Wow, I've never had this much difficulty with this fight. I can't do enough damage to hurt her. In fact, I can't even do enough damage to keep all these Yagra down. Please summon a different tentacle. Not the alchemical one, please. You've got to be shitting me with this. Uh, game? That was weird. I was heavy attacking with no heavy attack. Oh, he isn't like... Oh, he doesn't like aquatic creatures? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. He's getting a lot of favor. Yeah, I'm, the game's like glitching and not firing off my heavy attack. Thoad is not even as hard as this. It's another alchemical. It's another alchemical tentacle. I'm impressed that Xander is still alive, though. That's... He died so fast last time. It's... It's not... It's not doing heavy attacks. Can you get out of here? God. I spoke so, so too way too soon when I said this is not a hard boss. So this character is just not good for this. I would be done with my run by the end by now with my other character. This is terrible. God, can this ten can this tentacle be gone already? Thank you. I get a brief moment to attack now. 
Oh good, it's a Radiant Tentacle, finally. I didn't get... I blocked. Do the stupid thing! You all get just caught up in this, please? Thank you. So much easier when it's not. How many? How many back-to-back -back alchemical tentacles was that? It was like four, right? Plus the two from the run before this. Please die now, Zabaza. Please die. Thank you. That sucked. That really sucked. I know this character isn't built for this, but that was terrible. Libations are on you next time. This is it. Ah, this is the fragment we needed. This completes the Nimic. All we need now is a place to summon her. Keep Thoat and the Malligraphies busy while I look for the perfect location. Okay. Ooh. Well, hold on. Offensive penetration could be... Actually, that might be the only thing good here. All right. Two more stages, and then I can fight... And be done with this. How invigorating! Oh, spell thief. That's the one I hate the most. It's, it steals your AOEs. Oh, silver rose. These guys can be a problem too if the archers pop up. I'm in full like. Oh, there's one of the archers. These guys do a weird lingering poison. Or I don't even know if it's poison. It's some kind of bleed. I couldn't have gotten any... I, seriously, the visions I got were terrible this run. What did I get? Useless. Useless. Because I don't do a high Your amount of damage anyway. I know fire damage isn't an issue right now. And my pets do more damage. They don't do a lot of damage to begin with. Oh! Give me this. Let's get some ultimate generation going. Because I'm doing non-stop heavy attacks with this character, so... Infusers, they're not bad. You just have to watch that they don't start buffing the enemy. Wow, that was not wide enough to hit these guys on the edge. That kind of sucks. I hate the imps, too. They just have a channel attack that just lasts so long. Oh, a Storm Atronach. How imposing! I realize I haven't seen a single sheaf of paper, have I? I forgot how rare they are until you're doing the daily. I mean, I won't have to really worry about it with this character, because he's never coming back in here again. Just the mortal we needed! None shall best your ink-slaying prowess! Okay, please give me a good verse for Thoat. Uh, This one can be okay. Yeah, because Thoat doesn't have interruptibles. Oh, wait, but the little ones do. I could have used that. Alright. I speak the sound of your essence. Follow it here. Bloop. You are finite. She does have a cool voice. Oh, but are attack. You smart? If you attack her when she does that, she spits out these little chunks. Over here, you Come on, kill the little, kill the little one. 
Yeah. If you attack her when she's doing that, it spells as it spits out these little chunks of glass that will start becoming projectiles to home in on you. Oh, my other character is so much better equipped, more better equipped for this, uh... Repetition is good, but change For the endless, the infinite archive. Oh, she's doing the dome. He's tankier and hits harder. Many thanks, cohort. Oh, take a little one for the explosion. Yeah. Yeah, though it is not hard, it just can be time-consuming if you don't have good verses and visions. She does become harder as arcs go on. She gains I'm more forms. Like right now, it's just Big Glass Night Lady. And then at the end of arc two, it's Big Glass Night Lady. And then when she gets to 60% of her health, no, 70% of her health, she summons a glass version of a frost atch. Whoops, I have attacked her when she had her shield. A glass version of a nice frost atch knock. On arc three, when that Frost Atronach has 70% health, it summons a Glass Manticora. In Arc 4, when the Glass Manticora is down to 70% health, it summons a Glass Dragon. And then from that point on, it just gets harder and harder, but it doesn't get any new forms. Ooh, come here where there's a thing I can blow up to hurt you. Well, that really doesn't do a lot of damage to her, does it? I have no need of this anymore. Can we get more centralized? I've been lucky. The eye's been chasing after Xander every time. Now it's... Uh, nope, still going after him. Interesting. Why did it prioritize him? Uh-huh. the pages from the book! And then, something else that makes it harder is the arcs go higher. Starting about halfway through arc 3, the attacks that all the versions of her use start showing it in the stages. Like, these blobs can appear, or the tentacles can appear, or the eyes can appear. I copied myself through the Or these little glass AoE explosions can appear. This is not the end of me. It uh, becomes overwhelming. Plus, you have things like Marauders, which are insanely difficult bosses that just show up in the Enough middle of a of fight. Not a boss fight, a stage fight, and uh, they will wreck you if you're not ready for them. Especially the fire one. Gothmal. Killed her. Well, this version. She's spreading across the books in this archive. There could be hundreds of Thoat Replicanum. When you're finished here, meet me back where we met. We should talk about what happened. Anything cool in here? Furnishing? There are more malligraphies and other nope. Thoat Replicanum in the archive. Oh, I do have the... I have the complete thing for this, so I'm not going to get new stuff there, either. Uh, wow, these... You gave me nothing good this run. Not one good thing. Alright, so once you have cleared an arc... You mean, you can keep going. That's the whole thing is an infinite, technically, until you die. Once you complete an arc, you can return here... Or killed Thoad is the thing, not just completed an arc. I thought I had this all figured out at the start. But spend enough time contemplating the Endless and you realize that nothing is ever simple. Ah, well, that's one Thoat Replicanum taken care of. I should focus on all the good work you did. There are fewer malligraphies in there to attack you. That's true. The Filers oh. feel safer, oh. and I can let my guard down a little when I research things. It's a definite improvement. I know Hermaeus Mora has been rewarding you for your efforts along this journey, but I'd like to give you something, too. Thanks. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm going to disable these guys before I forget. Boop, boop. Boop. Just because I don't want them... This character mostly is used for crafting in towns. I don't want them in the way. Back and ready to clear more malligraphies out of the Endless Archive? Are you in it for the rewards? Or do you just like hunting copies of Thoat Replicanum? Either way, your work allows me to do mine, and that's what matters. Yeah, so every day, you can come in here and... Oh, I'm also going to abandon this. Abandon. 
you can come in here and talk to him and he'll give you a quest to kill Thoat. So you can you really only have to do arc one. If I get good uh, visions, I'll go all the way to like arc four or five. But you also get one of these, which is a bonus little chunk of archival fortunes, and... Oh, he gives you one of each. I forgot. I hadn't done this with another character. And you can spend your archival fortunes I here. I would sell you a map of the Endless Archive, but it won't fit on your mortal papers. Besides, the scribes who went in there last haven't returned. You'll just have to be content with everything else I have available. So, Ool will uh, sell you things, miscellaneous things, they rotate every week. It's basically two leads, that can be any two leads. Last week they were like, two leads of overworld things you can just go find, which was bizarre. He'll send you, a sell, he can sell you a, a style page, an undaunted style page, which is the Symphony of Blades, people love that one. He gives you, sells a treasure map each week. He sells companion equipment each week. He sells two books, which I believe I have both these. Yeah, I have both these either in a house or in storage. And then he sells you fragments from a miscellaneous collectible. In this case, it's the cartographer outfit. One fragment from In the Endless Archive, which I did this one already. And one Tales of Tribute clue, which I have this one already as well. And the other merchant has a cool little thing. Yep. They have a book staircase. It's Tezzer's. Mortals trade. I trade too. Take what you want and give me what I want. Oh. Equal. Agreed. No sadness. Yes? So Tezzer's has a more solid, unchanging, uh stock and it's like supplies for, for for crafting or things related to an item set if you want that stuff like that and then if you keep going there's for achievement furnishings which some of these are cool let's see these are pretty neat and I like this one too but I don't have a place to put it it's, and it's cool because it cycles through showing you like places in the world. There was solitude, that solitude again. Can you show something else? That I think that's that's not is that Glenumbra? That's that's Somerset. And you can buy verses. Temp these are ones you can store to use whenever you want. And these are the upgrades which I have them all, which makes the archive much easier. But that is it. Oh, and then when you want to finish your run, you go over here, and you can do this, and it'll put you, if you qualified, it'll put you on the leaderboard. And if you want to reset the instance, you go here, and out you go. And that's it. That's the Endless Archive. So... Oh, here's one. Mortal, uh, do you have a moment? No, oh, we already talked, Pix. That's it. So I'm very curious to see if we see anything with Thoat, because, like, are the Replicanums by name? Are they just copies of her? Where's the real one? It's stuff like that. So maybe, because we are still doing more stuff with Apocrypha apparently next year. Maybe? I don't know. That's it for now, though. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.